Hey, what's up you guys? Chad Christian, CWC Technologies. So I've had a couple requests about the Canon EOS R. I'm shooting with a 16 to 35. This is the F4 lens. Right now I've got the uh, image stabilization just from the lens turned on. I'm not using it from the camera body. Just walking around my neighborhood. It's shooting at uh, 60 frames a second, 1080. It's at 16 millimeters right now, just so you guys can see what this looks like. I'm gonna do a couple different tests. I'll leave a link to the mic I'm using down below. It's got a dead cat on it. I am using an ND filter. Everything is set to auto. Face tracking is turned on. You guys should see that right now. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to turn off the stabilizer right now and you guys can see what a difference the lens stabilization makes so let me turn it off now okay I've turned the lens stabilization off so you guys can see how much of a difference that's made so that was one of the purposes of this lens was just for the lens stabilization because there are a lot cheaper lenses you could get you could go with a 17 to 40 and that one doesn't have stabilization so see if you guys can tell a difference right now again i'm just holding the um the joby tripod so you're going to get a little more shake then we'll try it again with the image stabilization for digital which is going to crop this lens in a little bit but it is shooting at 1080 now so we'll try that next all right so now i have the image stabilization turned on in camera which should crop that in just a little more and i have it on it with a lens so we'll test that out and see how that does in a minute i'm going to turn it off of the lens so you can see how that looks so this will give you a good test of what you're going to get from it so let me turn it off the lens now. There, so now it's off the lens. Now we're just using the image stabilization that's on the camera itself and not the lens. So how does that look? Now I'm not trying to control my walk or anything, so there's no telling how wobbly it is. Again, I'll turn it back on in the camera. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use the enhanced stabilization mode, which will crop it in a little more. Now I could hold my arm out, so I could get more, but... <laughs> It's a pretty heavy rig, all this together. So let me try that now with the enhanced image stabilization turned on. So now I've got the enhanced image stabilization turned on in the camera. I've also got image stabilization with the lens turned on. So you guys let me know, does that look any better? Same. You can see that the crop has changed. So let me now turn off the lens stabilization. So now we are literally just using the camera's enhanced image stabilization vlog mode see and I could hold it out farther you better have some strong shoulders <laughs> so that's what it looks like now what we're gonna do next is let's go to 4k and see what the crop looks like at 16 so there we go so now we are shooting at 4k 30 frames a second just using the lens stabilization you can tell that the crop is there so 16 millimeters on this 1.7 inch or 1.7 crop. So you're probably looking at around 28 millimeters or so. So this is what it would look like in 4K if you wanted to shoot in 4K. Um, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn the lens stabilization off right now. So now we have no lens stabilization. So how does that look? Did it, is it any different? Not sure how the brightness is, it's really bright out. I'm in Florida, near the Tampa area, so it's very hot here, so 80 degrees. <laughs> so how does that look? So now what we're gonna do, we're going to turn on stabilization again on the lens, so you can get a feel for it again. See if that's changed at all. What we'll do next is we'll turn on the camera's stabilization and the lens stabilization. So let's do that now. Okay, so we're at 4K, same thing, 30 frames a second. I'm now using the stabilization from the camera and the lens. So this is the first stabilization. It's not enhanced yet, we'll do that in a second. So how does that look? Okay, now I'm gonna turn off the lens stabilization so it's just 4K 
using the in-body image stabilization. So let's try that out. By the way, big shout out, uh, shout out to Armando. I'll leave a link where you guys can check out his channel for turning me onto the Canon EOS R. Very cool. Also, camera conspiracies for the idea to do this video. I know he was interested in this, so the big shout out to him. Make sure you guys check out both those channels. They're excellent. Now what we're gonna do, let's go to enhanced image stabilization. So we'll turn back on. So now my lens stabilization is back on. Hopefully you should see a difference right away. So let's turn on enhanced image stabilization now. All right, so <laughs> enhanced image stabilization is turned on. As you can see though, let me uh, change this ND filter a little bit. There we go, it's pretty dark, pretty pretty bright out. But um, as you can see now, it's it's got a crazy crop. <laughs> So this is enhanced image stabilization, 16 millimeter, 4K. Let's turn off the stabilizer on the lens. So there, now it's just using the camera body, enhanced image stabilization, not using the lens. So how does that look? Okay, now we're gonna turn it back on in the body. Okay, so that's both. Now we'll do is we'll go back to our 1080, 60 frames a second. Just so you guys see what it looks like again. Okay, so now we are back to the 1080, 60 frames a second. We just have the lens stabilization on now which I'm going to assume this would be, you know, the best setup for what you guys are looking to do. If you want to see any other lenses, I'll put the uh, the 10 to 18 on there, which is, I believe, a 3.5 to 5.6 um, aperture. So if you guys want to see what that looks like, leave a comment down below. Or any other lenses if you want to see them. I can put them on here if you have any questions about the Canon EOS R. I'll also leave a link down below where you guys can get yours. But I do, I think this is, this is probably going to be your best setup right here. At least with this lens. I mean, you can tell this is getting a wide area. And I can really, if I held this out, I mean, you can get, right, you can get a lot of area. You can see a lot with this lens. It's a fantastic lens for $9.99. It's phenomenal. I know it's f4, but unless you're shooting in a dungeon, <laughs> I think this looks good. I will know and <clears throat> I will know in post. I apologize if it's too bright or too dark. It's really hard to see. I have my sunglasses on. <laughs> I should have actually turned the brightness of the display on with this Canon. That was one thing that I wanted to mention too. The ease of use, right, with the Canon equipment is just so nice. I can't put a price tag on that. So if you're familiar with the Canon 70D or 80D, this is fantastic. Everything, I can touch the screen to do. I didn't have to go around the camera once to the back side to do anything with it. I can see myself, I'm in frame. No matter where I'm at or what I'm doing, everything is in frame, it's perfect. I think it's a good setup. I think Canon has got a good setup there. Again, if you want to get the camera, the lens, or this ND filter that I'm using here, I'll leave a link down below. Works really good, and the microphone. Now the nice thing with this microphone is I don't have to use battery for it. You just plug it in and go, and I've got the, the dead cat on it, so it should hopefully be blocking out the wind. But yeah, this, this could really be a great vlogging setup. So if you guys are into vlogging, I highly recommend this. We'll see how the video looks. Chat again at CWC Technologies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you in any way, please make sure you click that thumbs up. It does help the channel. Subscribe for more content like this. I do want to do more camera reviews and videos. I love my camera gear. I knew I know I do a ton of tech stuff, but I have a blast when I'm shooting cameras and lenses and changing everything that I do. So that's going to do it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it again.